What is up Dong Army? It's your boy Royce. This video is going to be a really special video because it's going to be a day in the life of my first day as a PhD student. This is really exciting because this is a new chapter in my life that'll last uh, from three to seven years. I have a jam-packed schedule today. I have research in the morning. I have some classes in the afternoon for bioengineering. A lot of stuff going on today and I can't help but feel a little bit of anxiety because it's been a while since I've taken upper level engineering classes. You know, I can't tell you the last time I've done like an integral uh, in math or like you know, written a line of code. It's probably been like years because you don't do any of that in medical school. And regarding research, I'm actually expected now to produce productive results that'll go towards a PhD thesis. And that is uh, at least a little bit stressful. Grad school is also going to be hard because I have to make wardrobe choices, uh, which is too bad because, um, you know, when I was a medical student and I had to go to the hospital every day, I would just pull out one of my many pairs of scrubs from the closet and I'd be good to go. You know, I switch from my pajama scrubs that I sleep in to my work scrubs and you know just as i did with medical school i know i'll get used to this new level of stress this new level of expectations of uh, responsibilities and uh, it's just a matter of you know getting my feet wet and getting exposed so i'm really excited for uh this day and the next few days because this is the uh, acclimation period for me to get used to uh the phd lifestyle i just woke up so i'm gonna get dressed uh, pack my lunch, pack my things, and I uh, get ready to go to school. The first thing I'm gonna do this morning is uh, go to lab, so uh, you're really excited for that. I tend to uh, walk nowadays versus public transit or biking because it just gives me more time to like enjoy my surroundings and take a look around, you know? Uh, and it also gives me more time to uh, listen to my audiobook, which is nice. Now that I'm on campus, my first stop is the student lounge in the medical school. I'm gonna return the 2019 version of first aid. I'm gonna put it right back where I found it in the first place. I'm totally kidding you guys. I'm gonna put it where it actually belongs, next to the uh, 2014 version of first aid. All right guys, so today for lunchtime, I am actually excited for once, uh, unlike my typical lunches, which consist of, you know, a slice of white bread, uh, some mayonnaise, and a microwaved um, veggie patty from Trader Joe's. I have actually some real food that my fiance and I meal prepped for the next few days. This is a Mediterranean bowl that is heavily inspired by kava, a yellow turmeric rice. We have uh, this air fried drumstick that was a lot better looking when it first was air fried. <laughs> And I seasoned this with, you know, uh, salt, pepper, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, turmeric, cumin, 
za'atar, cucumber, tomato salad, freshly grilled corn on the cob, lentils that we made as well, red pepper hummus, and uh, olive tapenade. And we have a Greek yogurt tzatziki sauce, some kalamata olives. This actually makes me look forward to, you know, eating for lunch, unlike my, you know, typical dry uh, sandwich. Mm, this is like the best meal prep I've ever had. Oh my gosh, I love olives. So I just finished a great lunch. Now I'm walking to my uh, graduate level stats class. Uh, it turns out it's at the Wharton School. So I'm walking across campus from the engineering school and I'm passing by like a whole bunch of undergrads. And uh, it seems like there's like an activities fair or something. It's kind of crazy. I feel like I'm an undergrad again, um, you know, walking past a whole bunch of people, you know, contracting all sorts of uh, respiratory diseases. I just finished my stats class. It's about 1.30 p.m. right now, and I'm off to go to my doctor's appointment at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna walk over to Student Health Services right now, uh, see a doctor, do my annual checkup, and then, uh, yeah, maybe afterward I'll go to the gym. So I just finished my annual checkup at Student Health Services. Now I'm on my way back to campus. Uh, it's kind of funny going from, you know, the past few months, uh, being the healthcare provider and, uh, you know, running the history and physical, asking patients, you know, different questions, doing different physical exam maneuvers to uh, figure out what's going on with uh, patients and to improve their health, to now being uh, the patient uh, themselves and uh, being the one who has to, like, you know, struggle to recall information. It's funny because uh, as I was going through the appointment, I realized that I'm actually a really poor historian. Uh, for example, when they asked me questions about my family history, and uh, you know they'd ask about my parents' health. Um, I wouldn't really know the answer. Like you know, does my dad have high cholesterol? Does my mom have high blood pressure? So I definitely need to call them to clarify this kind of information. So now I have some free time until my next class at 3:30 p.m., which is a bioengineering class uh, in the engineering campus, and it's about commercializing products. I'm really excited for uh, this class, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a quick lift in before then. I just finished working out at the gym. I feel like having a short block of time makes the workout that much more productive. You know, I can't do what I did in undergrad, which was, you know, stay at the gym for like two hours and do one set every 10 minutes, you know, in between YouTube videos. Now I actually have to like, you know, get the workout done in like 40 minutes or whatever. Self-discovery, yeah, oh yeah. Just got out of the class. Turns out it wasn't like the bioengineering class that I thought it'd be. It was actually a bioengineering seminar about like how to be a grad student and like science in general. Uh, so very chill. You just kind of have to try to stay awake throughout it. Now I'm heading over to an orientation for new PhD students that also comes with free food. Um, I'm showing up an hour late, but hopefully they still have some food. I just finished coming from that grad student event. It was nice to get some food. Some of the food they had there was really good, uh, but unfortunately it was not enough to fill me up. So I'm about to quickly go home, grab some food with my fiance, and then uh, we're gonna head over um, to a friend's house. My fiance is interested in uh, producing music. dinner tonight we're gonna make uh, fresh salmon this is fresh from the uh, freezer aisle first we're gonna get some garlic peel it off really easily you know some loose dices doesn't really matter we're microwaving stuff in the background because we're a full kitchen here and we're gonna take one salmon fillet fresh freshly packed from a few weeks ago so now that it's descaled we're gonna score the skin here I saw this in a Gordon Ramsay video, so it must be true. And when you cook the fish, naturally it wants to curl up. The skin wants to curl up. So by scoring it, you allow it to remain flat and therefore get cooked evenly. Now we're salting the fish. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn on the heat. Now we're gonna add some olive oil, extra light olive oil. Now we're gonna add the garlic. Now we'll put the fish down. I'm 
I'm gonna salt pepper the uh, other side of the salmon as we wait. Some garlic on top. And we're gonna put some butter on there too. On the sides. That apparently helps keep it um, nice and moist. You can smell the garlic, you can smell the butter. So fragrant. The fish looks super crispy. The oil's pulled at the bottom here. Smell that. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells good, right, Kathy? Thanks. She's not a paid actor. Essentially done, we'll turn off the heat. Oh, beautiful. Um, first we have the salmon that we made, the fresh salmon, the uh, broccoli that we blanched, just has some salt as seasoning. And this is some leftover pasta actually. We made this pasta sauce from scratch using a recipe from the book, uh, Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat. I like to just cover it up so it doesn't look like red pasta anymore. All right, now I'm gonna try a piece of this delicious looking fish. Mmm. Skin is super crispy, super flavorful, mm, very moist. I'll try pieces of pasta too. Mm, wow. Leftover sauce, but still tastes really good. If not better than uh, yesterday. I'm absolutely stuffed. Now we're gonna head over to our friend's house. Uh, my fiance is gonna do some producing of music and I'll uh, kill the time by like playing my switch or something. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun, I'm looking forward to it. I've really done a lot today, as you can see, um, as evidenced by my second shirt. You know, I've done a lot of sweating, you know, in and outside of class. Yeah, you know, just so eventful, just based on how busy my schedule is, and also based on how nice of friends I have, whom I'm uh, very grateful for. It was nice to play some uh, two-player Switch games with my MD-PhD friend, as uh, her partner taught uh, my fiance Jackie how to produce, you know, teaching her the software, teaching her, you know, all the mixing and and different instruments and such and whatever you know theories they have. Jackie is kickstarting her career as a future music producer and DJ. So overall, you know, it's been a really nice day. Um, had a lot of fun at the end there. You know, I was a bit nervous going into uh, today because it was the first day of graduate school for me. The uh, anxiety quickly turned to honestly just a little bit of tiredness and boredom uh, as I was sitting through the classes. As you can see, I have a lot more freedom to do the things that I enjoy. I know you guys can appreciate the fact that my previous days in the life, uh, you know, on trauma surgery, on family medicine, as a medical student, had a lot less freedom than my current day in the life. So I hope you guys found this video insightful related to what, you know, a PhD student's life looks like, especially that of an MD PhD student in their PhD years. And I uh, hope you guys also found this entertaining. You know, I, I really try my best uh, as a creative and as an artist to uh, entertain you guys, my audience, the Dog Army. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week.